So earlier this year, Konami released their two-player starter deck. And as you guys probably know, I'm not really a big fan of this product, but I thought that an interesting video to do would be to pit this against the very first Yugi starter deck from 2002 to see which of these two decks actually does a better job of being a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. So first things first, this one comes with the mat and this one doesn't. That's all you really need to know. No, but seriously, we're about to rip open both of these decks and have a duel. Let me know down in the comments before you even watch this, and after you like the video, of course, which of these two decks you think will win? I actually have no clue, so, uh, because this one's kind of bad. All right, let's hop into it. All right, guys. Right, so I've got the Synchro two-player starter deck. And I have the OG Yugi starter deck, here to show that Yugi could win in any era. Yeah, maybe, we'll see. I'm, I don't think it's gonna go well for the Yugi starter deck, but I think that honestly taking any win at all would be a shame on this deck's part. I believe in my grandfather's deck. All right, don't you go normal summoning a 2,000 attack monster. Hopefully, I won't be the case. I got a seven duelist. Average roll, can I beat it? Let's see, nope. Okay, you got a three. I'll be taking the first move then. All right. I'll set one card face down, another card face down, and end my turn. Playing scared won't win you this game. Oh, we'll see about that. Draw. We'll see how scared I really am, duelist. I'll activate Soul Exchange. Oh, okay. That's right. I'm going to tribute your face down monster for a monster in my hand. The Summon Skull! Oh, 2,500 attack points, okay. Out the gate. Setting a card face down, I'll end my turn. All right, then I draw Duelist. I'll just set one more card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. Running scared, are you? Could be, could not. Then you should definitely run from the Beaver Warrior. <laughs> you run from the Beaver Warrior? That's right, it's got 1,200 attack. Beaver Warrior will attack you directly. And then Summon Skull attacks for 2,500. And I'll end my turn. All right, well, I am gonna draw. I will normal summoning my obsessive Oovaloo. Now I'll activate my Quillbolt Hedgehog's effect in the graveyard. If it's in my grave, I can special summon it while I control a tuner. Now it's time to synchro summon. Don't know anything about that, huh, Yugi? Wait, what are you doing? I synchro summon with my tuner and synchro my non-tuner. I summon Coral Dragon, uh, level six, got 2400 attack, and it also has a really cool effect where I can discard a card, target a card you control, and destroy it. So I'm going to activate my Coral Dragon's effect and discard Gilgarth to target and destroy your face down card. You hit a trap hole. Coral Dragon attacks Beaver Warrior for 1200 damage. Your move to us. I will draw for time. Summon Skull, attack his Coral Dragon. I'll activate this, my Kunai with Chain on my Coral Dragon to give it 500 more attack points. Putting oh, no. it at 2900 to destroy Summon Skull, you'll take 400 damage. Set one monster face down, and end my turn. I draw a duelist. Coral Dragon's gonna attack you face down. You hit the mystical elf. Let's end my turn there. Draw for turn. And the 2002 starter deck beat the 2024 starter deck. The problem is, you don't understand the heart of your cards. I'll activate Change of Heart. I'll take control of your Coral Dragon. Wow, okay, yeah, that's fine. He's 2,900 right now, at least. 2,900, you say? 2,900. I would like it to be bigger. I'll activate Coral Dragon's effect. Discard one card from my hand. How's that gonna make it bigger? I don't know. Okay. I'll send my Dark Magician to the graveyard to destroy your face down. Well, lucky for me, I can chain my back to the front. Obsessive Uva Loop in defense. Coral Dragon, attack the Uva And I'll end my turn. Oh, well, thanks. I'll take my Coral Dragon back. 2900 is nice to have. I draw for turn. I can normal summon Elemental Hero Sparkman in attack mode. 1600 attacks you directly. And 2900 with Coral Dragon. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. And I'll draw! I guess I really will have to leave it to the heart of the cards. I'll set a card face down and activate Card Destruction. Okay. We are going to discard our hands and draw. I discard Visa, Starfrost, and Dark Hole. And I discard Doma, the Angel of Silence. I draw two cards. And I'll draw one card. <laughs> so sad, card destruction draws you one. <laughs> but it's exactly the card I needed. I activate Monster Reborn to special summon Dark Magician from my graveyard. And now I'll reveal to you the card I drew. Remove Trap! And now my Dark Magician is stronger. Enter battle! Dark Magician, 
Dark Magic Attack! It's destroyed and I'll take 100 damage. But my Coral Dragon's effect activates. This is called bloating. When it's destroyed, I draw one card. I end my turn. I draw the list. I will switch my Sparkman to defense mode, set one card face down, set another face down, and end my turn. And now, I draw! If you thought my Dark Magician was formidable before, then you especially like him with the Book of Secret Arts. Okay. So now my Dark Magician's 2800. Yeah. And I'll use that 2800 to attack your Sparkman. Sparkman is destroyed. And I'll end my turn. I draw. So I'm gonna use a flip effect monster, my Mask of Darkness. Oh. When it's flipped face up, I get a trap card from my graveyard back to my hand. The Kunai with chain. Now let's tribute my Mask of Darkness for Mobius the Frost Monarch. When it's tribute summoned, I can target up to two spell and traps in the field. I'm gonna just target your Book of Secret Arts and destroy it. All right, I'm gonna just set a card face down, Dolores. Your move. And I will draw. Since I knew, I know you searched that kunai with chain. I will switch my magician to defense position and set a monster from my hand. And end my turn. I draw. Mobius the Frost Monarch is going to attack the Dark Magician. Then I'll set one card face down and main phase two. Your move, duelist. Draw! I will tribute my face down. Four, Curse of Dragon. It may not be enough to defeat your Mobius, but it's I not. can attack your face down. You attack Spirit of the Heart. It has 2,000 defense, but uh. matches Curse of Dragon's 2,000 attack points. I'm gonna just slide it right over here. So actually, I'm just gonna slide it right over here so they can see it. Okay, there. That means I must end my turn. That means I draw. It's time to end this duel. I switch my Spirit of the Heart to attack position. I activate my Fissure to destroy your Curse of Dragon. Mobius attacks directly. Ah. Uh. For 2400, which ends this duel. All right, for round two, I'm going to be playing the Xyz deck. You get to pick who goes first. I will take the first move. Then I will start by setting one monster face down and one surprise for later. Now in my turn. I draw. Normal summon, Queen's Knight in attack position. Attack, you're a face down card. You hit my mystical elf. I am my turn. And I will draw. Normal summon, Dragon Zombie. And then I'll activate Ultimate Offering. I will pay 1,000, I mean 500 life points. Is that? It's is 500. That, is it really 500? Yeah, that's 500. 500 life points for an additional normal summon of Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one. Ooh, dragon yes. Zombie, attack his Queen's Knight. And Wing Dragon will attack for 1,400 I end. I can't believe I'm losing a starter deck Yugi. <laughs> Normal summon, star drawing in attack position. Attack wing dragon guarding the fortress. I draw! Dragon zombie attack star drawing. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. I'm going to normal summon my Gagaga -ga -ga magician. And attack your face down monster. You hit trap master. It will destroy a trap on the field. I will destroy my ultimate, ultimate offering. offering. Your move to us. Draw! That was a pretty good plan, using my monster to get rid of my trap card. It was. I but definitely How about I that. use your monster to make one of my own? Oh boy. I activate Change of Heart! And I'll take control of your Gagaga -ga -ga Magician. Take it for yourself then. And then I'll tribute my Mystical Elf and your Gagaga -ga -ga Magician to summon Gaia the Fierce Knight! My Gaia has 2300 attack and I'll use it to attack you directly. And I'll end my turn. I'm actually pretty close to losing this. Oh my god. Okay. Well, actually, this works. Activate trade in. Discard Rabid Dragon. It's level eight. I draw two cards. Two cards? Two cards. I set one monster face down and end my turn. I will draw. Gaia, attack. You attack with Jama Yellow. And I will set one monster face down and end my turn. Yeah, guys, this is my hand. It's, uh, you know. It exists. I normal summon La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamb. Attack your face down. You hit the man eater bug. He'll destroy your La Jin. Ugh, I'm trying to actually keep monsters on the field. <laughs> I will end my turn, duelist. I'll draw for turn. I normal summon the Celtic Guardian. Oh my goodness. This is the exact game. <laughs> I'll enter battle. Battle enter. My Guardian and Gaia will attack. We will go to how this do you is, say game. This three. sucks. <laughs> okay, so for game three, I am combining the extra decks of these two decks together. 
game three to decide which of these two decks will win. All right, this time, um, I'll take the first move. Normal summon my Gagaga -ga -ga Magician. Set two cards. Your move duel. I will draw for turn. I'll normal summon my man-eating treasure chest, and I will enter battle. Man-eating treasure chest, attack Gagaga -ga -ga Magician. Activate Book of Moon to flip your monster face down to fin. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. I draw duels. I'll enter the battle phase and have Gagaga -ga -ga Magician attack your face down monster. I'll activate Wabaku. Now, when you attack my man-eating treasure chest, it will not. I'm gonna activate Gravity Axe Gwarl and equip it to Gagaga -ga Magician. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. And I will draw! Your Gagaga -ga Magician is quite the customer. That's right, he's got 2,000 attack points. More than you would know about with probably anything in that deck. But I have the Fisher to oh destroy my your Magician. No, my Gagaga -ga Magician equipped with Gravity Axe Gwarl. I'll be sacrificing my treasure chest to summon Doma the Angel of Silence. <laughs> it's got the same attack points. But it is a level five monster. That's true. It actually has more defense than the main treasure chest. So in case you have another Book of Moon, you should be careful. Doma, attack his face down. You attacked. My Magician of Faith. Funny you mentioned having another Book of Moon. I'll get Book of Moon from my graveyard back to my hand with its flip effect. I'll have to end my turn there. That's great because I draw. Prepare for a type of summon you've never seen. A special summon. I special summon Cyber Dragon since I don't control any monsters. Cyber Dragon attacks Doma, the Angel of Silence, for 500 what was damage. What Pegasus smoking when he made these cards? I'll set a card face down and your move duels. Set a monster face down and end my turn. Draw! Cyber Dragon's gonna attack your face down monster. You hit Claw Reacher. Your move duels. I'll draw for turn. I will pass my turn. I draw the Cyber Dragon is going to attack you directly for 2100. I must take it. Draw! I set a card face down and end my turn. Cyber Dragon is going to attack for 2100. I must take it. I'll then set one monster face down and end my turn. Draw! Nothing you draw will make a difference against my Cyber Dragon, even though it'd be great to exist summon. I drew exactly the card I needed to survive. I activate Dark Hole! Oh, wow, okay. To destroy your monsters. You destroyed my fierce tiger, Mongu, and Cyber Dragon. Now, you have to deal with the might of Beaver Warrior. Face down. I'll end my turn. I'll draw for mine. I'll also set a card. And in my turn, the worst. And I will draw. I will normal summon the Witty Phantom. Witty Phantom, attack his face down. My Ojama Yellow again, for frick's sake. Now, end my turn. Draw. Say hello to La Jin again. I didn't shuffle very well, apparently. <laughs> Enter battle. I'll attack the Witty Phantom. Your move to the list. Draw for turn. I'll set a card and end my turn. I'll draw. I'll activate my spell card, Fighting Spirit. I'm going to equip it to La Jin, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp. It'll give him 300 attack for each monster you control. Attack this face down card. You destroy my giant soldier. That's right, Duelist. Your move. Draw. I'll set another monster face down and end my turn. I draw Duelist. I'm going to activate the power of Eldlitz the Golden Lord. I can send it from my hand to the graveyard along with a spell or trap and target a card in the field to send it to the graveyard. Ugh. So I'll send these two and I'm going to target your face down card. Then I must activate it in response. I oh. activate two pronged attack. I'll destroy two of my monsters to destroy one of yours. You're like shit. I bet you didn't know my elder had a second ability. I'll send a Speller Trap card from my field to the graveyard, like my skill successor. Add Eldritch back to my hand and then special summon a zombie monster from my hand and it'll gain 1,000 more attack points. Oh no! And it can't be destroyed by card effects until you the next turn. Special summon Eldritch the Golden Lord in defense mode for oh. BM. Okay. Ultimate BM. Your move duelist. And I will draw for turn. I'll set a monster face down and activate. Oh. Card destruction. We will discard our hands and draw a new one. I discard two. And I discard two. And I draw two. I will activate Yami. And I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I will draw a duelist. I'll switch my Eldritch the Golden Lord to attack position, enter the battle phase, and we'll attack your face down monster. You hit the man-eater bug! What? And I use the effect to destroy your Eldritch. Oh my god. You might think you're out of the water. You might think you're in the clear. But I activate Eldritch's effect in the graveyard in main phase two. By sending a spell from my field to the grave, my in book of moon, 
Yeah, that's right. Add to hand and then special summon a do, zombie do, do, monster. Do, do, do my, do they don't my cards do that? They don't do they, that. They, they don't. Special summon Elwitz the Golden Lord with 3,500 attack points and it can't be destroyed by card effects until the end of the next turn. Set a card face down and end my turn door. Draw! I summon Neo the Magic Swordsman. My Neo's actually gaining 200 attack from my field spell. That's right. And then I'll activate Book of Secret Arts and equip it to my Neo to give him another 300 points. Oh my god, he's 2200, no! And I end my turn. I draw. Normal summon the White Ninja. Eldritch with 2500 attacks Neo the Magic Swordsman's. White Ninja attacks you directly for 1500. I'm not out of this yet. You're moving into As long as there are cards in my deck, I know I can count the harder cards to pull me back into this duel. Draw! Set it face down and end my turn. During your end phase, I'm gonna activate Mystical Space Typhoon. It targets a spell or trap on the field and destroys it. You just destroy spells and traps? Yeah, it's just destroy. It just targets that? set card and destroy it. It's not D what about D spell? Well, I mean, this is sort of like a better D spell. It's just a quick effect. Remove trap. Yeah, right? it's, it's a spell speed too. I just said it. Yeah, and since you can't use it this turn because you I guess it didn't matter. It's ultimate offering. I don't have a half. Oh, okay. Well, I draw. I tribute my two monsters. What is happening? To summon the Dark Magician. Oh, heck no. <laughs> wow. Hey, wait, no. I did. All right. Well, that's the duel That duelist. was the uh, starter deck battle of the best. And uh, turns out the two-player starter deck's actually a pretty good starter deck. Well, you know what's kind of sad about it is how like close to even it like kind of was for certain parts. I mean... It felt like a portion of the deck is very much at the Star Deck Yugi level, and then there's a portion of the deck yeah, that's like there's literally not. Yeah, it's just, just like, like there's Eldritch the Golden Lord. This is that like this fierce tiger card. That could definitely. That was a. Wall this would have been a problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that was the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. We got to the bottom of whether or not the new. Yu-Gi-Oh! two-player starter set is worth it against a starter deck UV from 2002. As it turns out, it does at least win. This deck, though, pick it up if you see it on shelves. It's actually worth a whole lot if you do. I'm just, that's actually just good advice, I think. Yeah, if I mean, you see it's it, probably right. worth it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, let us know any other fun duels to do like this. And without further ado, we'll, we'll see, see you in the next, in the next one. one. Pass, Pass turn. turn.